How's it going? We are back with another video here, my friends. And this is a very, very good video for all you guys that are trying to get the, you know, the synergies, the best synergies to me. Uh, I'm going to show you guys right now uh, in HUD, of course. Uh, there's two that I say are the most important, and you can get this team build. Uh, it depends, of course, when you buy. Uh, if you buy it at the right time, which is probably buy this on a Wednesday when rewards come out at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Eastern, or on a Friday when a new event comes out, or just new content when packs are being opened. Okay. Because then the cards are at their lowest uh, value. But uh, if, according to my calculations, it's, a, it's about 110k. You can probably get it for 100k uh, if you just you know play your cards right. You know, no pun intended. Hot cards, yeah. But um, here we go. So uh, what we're going to do right now is uh, go into hut, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the two most important synergies, in my opinion. All right, so here we go. This is actually the wrong section I went to. Uh, but here, the synergy glossary. Okay. So at this point in the year, right now it's November 1st, early on. Uh, to me, the most important synergies, uh, and really for you guys, uh, if you're building a team for this value, I think it's very, very beneficial, okay? So the two I focus on is Howitzer, okay? So Howitzer is a plus three agility to plus plus three slap shot power, plus three speed, and plus three wrist shot power. This is a player synergy, so how that works, player synergies, of course, if you guys you know are new to HUT this year, uh, you simply, uh, it only works for those players that have the, have that synergy. Uh, so this is a player synergy. So if I had four players that had, well, obviously you need six points. So six players, I guess with Howitzer, only those, those six players would have the benefits of the plus three agility, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, then the other one is team synergy distributor. All right, so I have this one active on my main team actually. Plus three durability, plus three passing, plus three puck control, and plus three speed. Okay, very important. Every single player gets us on your team. The plus three, it's very significant. A player that can have 85 speed is 88, a player that has 88 is 91, like that is very beneficial in my opinion. Uh, some players on my team, I'll, I'll show you guys the difference it really makes. It's uh, pretty significant right now. Uh, so, you know, we go over to uh, LaFleur, who's already fast for me, plus distributor on, uh, he's rocking a 95 speed right now. You got 93 on Gretzky, 94 on Hall, 94 on Solani, 95 on Howie Marins, 95 on McDavid. It's only 87 overall McDavid. Like, it's not crazy cards. 91 on McKinnon. Most of my team is 90 plus speed right now. Lions is only the 88, but uh, again, most of my team is very fast now. Uh, even Carlson, you know, he's pretty solid. 88, 89 for Heiskanen, 90 for Carlson, 90 for Coffey, 88 for Dowdy, 88 for Riley. Most are 88 plus speed, which is very, very good. Um, so, that's what I would say right there, guys. Uh, but now, it's time to show you the team that I made that I think is very, very beneficial. Um, and uh, it's very good. It's going to be very helpful for you guys, right? So, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to explain my reasoning for every uh, card here as well. Uh, so, starting off, we got Blake Wheeler on the left wing. Uh, he's got a nice size to him uh, with the uh, distributor active as well. And Howard, sir. He's got 88 speed right there. Uh, you know, again, I'm, I, I looked at the market. Uh, for, I looked at the market before I made this video, so, uh, you know, according to the market, you know, as of, you know, November 1st, Willie was going for around 6k, so, I mean, again, uh, this, this could add up to around 110k at most, if you play your cards right, you get this team for cheaper, maybe 100k, maybe even a little under, if you do, the, the thing that's going to cost you the most is the coach, actually, the cards alone are not going to cost 100k, but that's not, the, that's not the point, of course, um, his shot's pretty solid, uh, 83, but the power goes up to 90, uh, and, and that's very good. I mean, 90 on the slap shot power and eight, and honestly, people don't realize uh, slap shot like power on shots are very important. Actually, they're very very important. So uh, Wheeler is definitely good. He's got good stats. Uh, Kateri is also very very good due to the reason, uh, of course, 86 speeds. You know, serviceable. Also, he has good faceoffs. Uh, he's got simply 85 faceoffs. It's very nice to have uh, a person that can take you know faceoffs for you, penalty kill opportunities, and uh, very reliable. Kateri is going for around. 2.5k when I saw on the market tonight. This is on Xbox, by the way. Prices definitely do vary on PS4. Could be cheaper, actually, on PS4. Uh, Aho also is Howitzer. Um, he's, he's a big reason I chose him. For the Howitzer, he's got 90 speed with a plus 6, because 3 to distributor, 3 to Howitzer. Uh, shot's also pretty solid, honestly, for an 83 overall. Uh, Aho's only 3k. It's a really good card to get uh, Howitzer active. I definitely got to play him on the wing, though. Uh, his passing is 90. Puck control is 90. Like, that's very, very good. Uh... Matthew Barzell, another one with Howitzer, 93 speed, my friends, 93 speed, that's really, really good, uh, his shot is in the mid-80s right there, uh, but again, with Howitzer, it helps it out, helps him out for sure, his passing is also 90, his control is 90, uh, so that's, you know, very beneficial as well, can't play him at center, certainly, but that's fine as a winger, 
Uh, then we got Matthew Shane, another one, 92 speed right here. 92 speed. Shots kind of in the low 80s, but that's okay. Uh, his speed's absolutely just unbelievable. Uh, and his passing's 87, and his puck control is also 87. So, I mean, a car that, you know, is very similar to, to most of this team. Most of this team is very similar, but the, the key about this team is having distributor and house or active, right? Like, it's it's cute to have these cards, uh, but if you don't have distributor active, especially distributor, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Because that, that helps the whole team, of course. Uh, you know, howitzer is cute for six cards, seven cards, whatever cards you have, but I mean, in the end, distributor is the most important. So, uh, sorry, I didn't really mention, but uh, yeah, Barzell's 2K, Duchesne's about 4K. Uh, we got an Ehlers. I love the Ehlers car when I use them. Uh, so, he's got 93 speed with howitzer and uh, distributor active. That's very, very good. Agility's at 90. The shots also at a decent, you know, 86 power. It's not horrible. Uh, his passing's also 87. Is with the puck control 87. I like Ehlers' card. I really do. He just felt like one of the better cards that I actually used this year as well. So I definitely enjoyed Ehlers. Uh, so Ehlers is going for around 2K as well. That's a steal in my opinion. Uh, William Nylander. He also has Howitzer. Uh, always the underrated thing about Nylander is his face-offs actually. 77 serviceable. You can definitely use him at center. I wouldn't say, you know, go ahead use Nylander at center. But, uh, you know, he, he's if you really have no other like spots. I mean, he's, he's good. 91 speed, of course. Uh, he shot also kind of in the mid-80s. Uh, nothing crazy, but I'm a fan. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Nylander, for sure, uh, with his house. Our durability 88 is also pretty nice, uh, but his passing and puck controller 89, that is good. Uh, and then his Nylander is going for about 2K. Johansson, another one with Howitzer, 89 speed, nice size, 6'3", 218. Uh, shot's actually pretty good as well, 87 for the wrist shot power, his lap shot power at 88. Uh, and also his passing 88, puck control 88, his face-offs are at 80, so you can definitely play him at center. Uh, with no problem, I mean, it's it's not going to be uh, any issue there. Uh, Johansson's also 2K, so, I mean, that's also pretty good value, in my opinion. Uh, Jack Hughes, I mean, really the reason for Jack Hughes, I think, is, I mean, his speed is 91 for a 79 overall card. I think that's very, very, uh, it's a good value. I don't know, it's a good value pickup, uh, at least in my eyes. I know his shot's not great, but, I mean, with, with 91 speed, I mean, he's blazing through the ice. I mean, it's interchangeable. You don't have to get Hughes, but I was just saying, just kind of going along with the whole, you know, speed team build type of, type of team, right? Uh, but, you know, I like him. Uh, definitely not going to play him at center, but also, I feel like everybody has 87 passing and 87 puck control. Is that like the, that the theme this year? I, I really don't understand. Um, but yeah, Hughes in the go for much, only 3k. Uh, then we got Yamamoto, of course. Now, the fourth line's a little weaker because it's how you get distributor active with this team and for that value, right? So, uh, he's got 85 speed, which, again, isn't even that bad, honestly. It's, it's definitely okay. Um, his shot's obviously low, low 80s. Uh, it's barely in the 80s. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the rest is okay, 85 passing, 84 puck control, but, I mean, you get, you get this card just for distributor, I mean, that's, that's the only reason you're getting, you know, Yamamoto, that's for sure, uh, but Yamamoto, he knows, he goes for, like, a decent amount, 3, 3k, maybe 5, depends how many are on the market at the time, because, of course, this card's kind of valuable, because distributor doesn't have that many cards right now, uh, then we got Zaka, you know, Devil's, Devil's Own, Devil's Bust, uh, distributor, he's got, 83 speed, now, he's a little weak when it comes to his speed, but, again, it's your fourth line, he can get away with this, you really can, uh, you know, his passing is 81, puck control is 81, but again, just a guy to kind of like fill out the team with the distributor, uh, and, and for the value, I think it's okay. Zaka, Zaka is about mm, 6k, it depends, I mean, Zaka was the cheapest up with 6k, uh, when I was looking, but, uh, Zaka, Zaka is definitely okay, I mean, he's, he's a good one for distributor. Then we got Sorensen, also with distributor, 85 speed, you know, that's good. I mean, as long as you're like in the, you know, 82 plus speed area, especially if you already have your top, you know, 9 being really, really good, uh, when it comes to speed, so... Uh, yes, his puck control is okay. It's, you know, it's fine. It's 82. You know, not going to knock your socks off. Uh, Sorens is about 2K as well. Then we go to the defense, which I really like a lot. The Latang. Uh, we got Speedster Active, actually, as well. So I went for Speedster. Also, I think like there's another beneficial synergy. So I got Speedster activated for the defense here. Uh, so we got Latang at 91. Speed. He's got a plus 7, actually. A plus 7 on his, uh, on his card. Really, really good. Um, 91 speed. It's really, really nice. Um, because it's a plus forward speedster and a plus two distributor. I uh, say so shots even okay with 88 wrist shot power. Um, passing the 88, puck control is 88. Latang's a nice card. Latang's about 7k. He's one of the better right tees actually available right now. Uh, then this is actually probably the most expensive card in the team actually. Uh, it's gonna be Morgan Riley at 10k, 92 speed. Uh, his shot is 86 wrist shot power. It's you know the best perk of it. Uh, but then his passing is 89, puck control is 89. Riley's a really solid defense. He's on my main team as well on the third pair, but. Uh, with, with a 92 speed as an 83 overall, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I know he's only, uh, I mean, I know he's 10K, but I think it's worth it. I really, really do. I like Riley uh, a lot, all right? 
We got Adam Fox, 82 overall. He's got Speedster as well. Makes him a 92 speed card as well. Uh, 87 wrist shot power. Uh, his passing is up 88. Power control at 87. I mean, that's good. I mean, you really can't argue that. That's very good. Uh, I'm a fan, absolutely, of Adam Fox. Um, yeah, Fox is good. Uh, I mean, just drives on speed alone. Again, size, not, not that big of a deal on defense this year. So, uh, Fox is about mm, maybe 4K. Then this card, I used him on my my main team for a while as well. Cam Fowler, 82 overall edition speedster. Give him 91 speed, 87 wrist shot power. He's a good card. I mean, I, I honestly, I could use him now. I wouldn't fear it because uh, I just liked his uh, his play. I really did. 87 passing, 87 puck control, uh, durability 76. Eh, not really anything too important to look at, but Fowler's for about 2K, which is also a steal in my opinion. Honestly, if you have speedster activated, I, I feel like Fowler would be a good pickup, even if you're not doing one of these team builds. I know this team is not going to apply to everybody, but just, you know, I think it's solid enough. Uh, then we got Adam Boquist as well. 84 speed, but he's got Distributor. That's the reason I got Distributor. Uh, the only reason I got him is because he has Distributor. So I give him a plus 3, uh, you know, durability 83, passing 83, 84 puck control. That's the reason I got Boquist. You know, he's okay. 6 foot 181, decent speed. Uh, you know, he goes for, hey, it depends, around 2K. Then we got uh, Cuckoo, Slater Cuckoo. You could kind of go for a lot. Uh, the cheapest I saw on the market at the time was 5K. Uh, he got 85 speed, but distributor that caps off all the skaters with distributor that you really need uh, for this team build, at least, at least in my eyes. Um, yeah, his passing a little weak, but third pairing can get away with it. You're not looking this, looking to have this guy be Eric Carlson for you to make all these great plays, right? Uh, so that's what we got there. Then for the two goalies, we got Pekka Rene with Distributor. I mean, I've heard really good things about Rene this year. I think Rene could be a solid starter. I think uh, they're interchangeable. I think Koskinen could be pretty good as well for you guys. He's also got Distributor. So that's, you know, that makes it 7 out of 10 for Distributor, all those cards. And then, of course, to round it all out. Uh, sorry, Rene, by the way, guys, is uh, 1K and Koskinen's 2K. Um... Then we also have Brian Fiddler. He goes for about 40k right now on the Xbox Marketplace. Of course, there's no stats to look at, but that's how you round out Distributor with this team. And uh, that's really it. So we got we got Howitzer, Speedster, and Distributor active with this team. To me, the three best synergies you can get, especially for the value of this team. I mean, your team would be, feel really good, at least in my eyes. I think it'd be a really good team for that budget. Uh, and you know, I mean, let me know if you, if you guys are definitely making a team like this. Let me know how it goes out. At least try some of these cards out. I think you can make something work at how it's reactivated. You don't have to even necessarily get distributor active because you know it could cost a lot, right? But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel here. If you did enjoy it, I'll be making more types of team builds if you want for certain uh, coin ranges. I'm down. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, Henrik with three E's. Join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. And as always, guys, I appreciate you all watching so much. I will see you in the next video.